These Hummel figurines on display here at the Goebel Porcelain Factory are among the most famous in the world. In the United States alone, a nationwide club of collectors has more than 200,000 members. Figurines like this one are inspired by the charming sketches of Sister Maria Innocentia Hummel, a Franciscan nun who lived at the convent of Ziesen. Almost 50 years ago, Franz Goebel, the porcelain manufacturer, conceived of recreating these drawings as porcelain figures. Herr Goebel went to the monastery in 1934 and sold the nuns on the idea. Since then, every Hummel figurine has first been approved by the convent. Sister Maria Innocentia Hummel herself supervised the making of the little models until her death in 1946. Working from an original sketch, a sculptor first models the figure in highly plastic clay material. He must not only have technical expertise, but also artistic empathy for the creations of Sister Maria Innocentia Hummel's imagination. Often many weeks of work are required before the design is ready for presentation to the convent. Once it's approved, the clay figure is cut into parts by a model fitter. Each part will be reproduced individually. Some of the more complicated figurines are cut into many separate parts. Next, a plaster mold is made from each part. From the mold comes a plaster cast, which often has to be touched up or altered to accommodate the production process. In the casting plant, the liquid ceramic composition, called a spicker, is poured into the molds. The molds absorb moisture from the spicker. When the mold is opened, a part of the figurine comes out. And finally, all the parts of the figurine are assembled. A hole is left in the figure to allow air to escape from the hollow interior during baking. Each figurine goes through anywhere from 3 to 13 separate baking processes, depending on the complexity of the figure. Each of several glazes requires a baking at more than 1,000 degrees centigrade. Every figurine is hand-painted by an artistic specialist using carefully selected, extremely fine bristle brushes, also made by hand. The delicate painting process itself takes many steps between glazes. At long last, after a final decorative glaze is baked on, the completed figurines emerge from the oven. And that's how, with infinite care, the gentle, cheerful spirit of Sister Maria Innocentia Hummel is preserved for all time in these beloved figurines. Thank you, Nancy Haas, because you asked for it. <laughs>